Hello, I'm Ron True, and I'd like to say a few words to you about uh, dealing with suffering as born-again Christians. I'm going to read to you from uh, Romans chapter 5, verses 3 through 5. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not disappoint us because... God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom he has given us. Jeremiah 16.33 says we will experience difficulties that will help us grow. Around the world in uh, Paul's day, Christians uh, suffered day and as a, their typical day. And for many Christians... In other parts of the world, that's true today. And so uh, uh, we should be thankful that we have as well as we do. However, we're under stress right now because of the coronavirus, and a lot of us have questions about how much longer that's going to go on and how we can deal with it. And then there are those who are suffering with the disaster that we had here recently in uh, this area and those that deal with the everyday issues of life. And so uh, most everyone may have something that tries their patience every day. We know that uh, uh, suffering will never separate us from God. Romans, 5, Romans 8, 35 through 38. Here's the sequence spoken of in, uh, by Paul. He says that suffering produces tribulation Tribulation, perseverance, perseverance, character, and character leads to hope. Tribulation comes from the Latin word tribulum, which speaks of a large timber that had uh, big nails in it, and this timber was dragged across the threshing floor on which there was wheat laid, and uh, this would uh, separate the grain from the chaff. Well, God uses these trials and troubles and temptations that we face to separate the grain from the chaff. Uh, I'm going to read James 1, verses 2 through 4, that speak.